After a week of downtime, boat projects, and resolving the engine issue, which was a cracked return fuel line, I'm finally able to set sail. Thank you for all of your kind words and encouragement during this period, and I hope you enjoy this episode. Um, dinghy is raised. It's the first time it's been raised in over a month. I've been thinking about you and your broken promises. Give me a word, but also go on and then cheat. I've been thinking about the time you took my innocence. Oh, I was so innocent, but you had a hold on me. Foolish me to think you loved me from the start. It needs a good cleaning. Um, it feels really good to have it raised. I should have known that you were going to break my heart. Remember the lies and all the silly games you play. No, I won't be playing again. Just remember, darling. My mama knows your name. Can't run to hide your face. Mako, I'm about to tie him up. And then I will have to raise the windlass by hand. And I have not actually shown you guys raising me doing it by hand so I will be filming that um, let's go hey you ready yeah you want to go <laughs> this is what I deal with attitude come on come on Mako. Uh, can't film this and grab him. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Has it really been that long? <laughs> okay. Um, you guys will get a silent day today. I haven't gotten the blades on there yet. Um, turn the engine on, test autopilot, test all my instruments, and then raise anchor and head out. Come on, like. She's starting better than she has started in weeks. Oh, she sounds so good. Makes me so freaking happy. I'm actually going to make water while I'm leaving because the engine is on. If anyone does consider a Seawater Pro water maker, I did not get the control panel and it works fine for me, but it is a few extra steps. So um, if you don't go the control panel route, I have a low pressure switch and a high pressure switch. That's that there. And then I just have to walk to here, lift up, and check. So it's actually pretty easy. And the little switch I do at the beginning for the water, to go in the water tank, I'd have to do anyway. So if you get a Seawater Pro and you choose not to do the control panel, I would definitely recommend this way. Honestly, this is the first time I've had to lift anchor um, completely alone, completely solo, and wind. So let's see how this goes. If anyone ever told you boat life is simple, that was the biggest slap.
here um about to put out the main says it's 15 knots 60 degrees not as east as i would like but i think we can do this we can do this as autopilot works let me not jinx myself minutes to get past these dive boats, keep making some water, and then engine is going off. Probably gonna have to tack a little bit today, but if you know me, you know this smile, I'm so happy to be back out here. I shouldn't say be back out because I've been here, but It is that time of day when thunderstorms can start. It's four o'clock. I may end up going straight to Georgetown. I'm so tired. It took like a 15 minute nap. I think I might get lucky with these storms. If they go the way the wind is going and seven knots today but the wind is so much 
or south. It was supposed to be straight east today and then southeast tomorrow. But of course, it's not. It's southeast. So I'm going almost straight south and then I'm going to have to cross over east versus going straight southeast. That may put me in where I'm going between 2 and 8 a.m. So if I get there and it's dark, I'll anchor and sleep. But if I get there and it's light, I might as well just keep going because one, I won't do anything while I'm actually there. And that way I can get to Georgetown in the daylight and then sleep hard and have a full day to get stuff ready versus just constantly going and just being exhausted on a day at anchor. I'm getting the breeze of the storm. Are you okay? What is he doing? Time to bring the main in. Wind's picking up a little bit. People when they say if you think it's too I think you should reef, it's too late to reef. The wind has been so consistent for the past week and now it's died. We're going two knots and it's just gonna be rainstorm after rainstorm it looks like. Everywhere is just like dark gray. one was not like I would take what I just had I would take that again I took in the main because I wanted to take it in anyway before dark just because it's one less thing to manage if a big squall did come and um, yeah if I need to go two and a half knots all night I really don't mind because I don't want to get I don't want to go through the cut at dark anyway if I'm going super slow, and I'm also in an area where not many boats are, which is kind of a blessing in disguise, so maybe I'll nap a little bit. Maybe I'll be able to nap a little bit tonight. Okay, the storm got closer. It's moving this way. Barely going that way. So I, it's going like one and a half knots, so I turned the engine on. Not even full cruising RPM, just hoping to get a little bit in front of the storm and then I'll go slow again. But I just I'm actually really happy. <laughs> as happy as I was to sail today, I'm really happy that I will be in one spot mostly for the next few months. 
break a brand new phone for the next few months because um, I hate sailing in the summer. I was just thinking about that. Like, summer sailing sucks. Summer diving does not suck. I didn't avoid it. Wide out. Mako? This boat is a mess. And this is why I don't sail. <coughs> right before I do things. Good night all. I actually feel like a truck hit me this morning. I've always wanted to explore this island, but I never have. Um, but I think <coughs> I think I'm having congestion from dairy. Uh, this comes first. Such a mess. It's been constant work, and I just want to clean everything. <sighs> Thank you for watching and supporting, especially to my patrons. After anchoring and spending the day at an Exuma island, I sailed to Georgetown. However, this content has been lost during some transfers. Next week, you will get to meet Allie, who arrives to Georgetown to co-host some retreats with me for the next few months.